as far as I know, we haven't seen the physical injunction yet. I don't think it, I, I don't think it's been delivered, as far as I, as far as I know. And have you talked with the authorities, CP authorities? Not, not us. Quebec? No, we, we just have uh, questions though. Uh, we want to know why uh, Canadian Pacific decided at this time to issue their injunction. Uh, we are very disappointed. We had we had a good relationship with, with Canadian Pacific Railway up up until yesterday, and so we're still still we're still surprised that, that they issued that injunction. And what's the next step with the barricades? We see that there's a lot of work going on. Well, you know, when you when you injunction is, is issued, the next step, uh, once it's served, would be you know possible uh, a physical uh, intervention, you know, by by uh, police forces outside outside forces. So um, you know they have to take certain precautions because they do not intend to to end this barricade. If SQ is coming here, are you afraid of a physical confrontation? Well, it's up to the SQ to, to decide if they want to have a physical confrontation or not. We've been here for a couple of weeks now, and, and uh, you know, it's a peaceful demonstration. So uh, it would be better if they don't come in at all. It would be better if uh, Canadian Pacific withdrew its injunction, or not serve the injunction. It, do you think they will come? This is coming? We're hoping that they don't come. We are hoping that we don't come, but what we're, we're, I guess you can see people are preparing if they do. And, uh, we're, it's, we're, we're being cautious. You know, it's unfortunate, you know, if, if the injunction wasn't served, it would be on another day, you know, but now if it's now that it's, uh, there's an injunction out there, uh, people will be taking certain precautions.